Hi, I'm Yuri. I'm here with Luke Mon, and we are at the AI Solutions booth here at Google Cloud Next 2018. And today we're going to talk about the recommendation engine. So, Luke Mon, what is a recommendation engine? So, a recommendation engine is one of our AI solutions. It's uh, what we call a reference architecture. Basically, has code and a set of papers that describes to you how to implement this kind of solution on Google Cloud Platform. What can I build with it? Well, let me show you. So um, this shows you an example, an e-commerce store, where the user might be scrolling through a whole catalog of items, picking ones that they're interested in, say they're adding them to a shopping cart. Um, as soon as they do that, then uh, the data that we've collected from them in that store can be sent to this recommendation engine and essentially recommend other items or products that they might be interested in buying. It works off of Google Analytics data, a very popular product that Google's had. Uh, our Google Analytics 360 product allows that data to be directly synced to Google Cloud into BigQuery, basically what our data warehouse solution. Um, from, from BigQuery, the data is exported into cloud storage and then used as a, a input to a train a model in TensorFlow that provides the recommendations. Uh, that model is loaded into App Engine, which serves as the API, essentially. And this is where the application server for the, the client application would make a request to the API saying, I've got a user, give me five recommendations for that user. Um, important to know that you've got to not recommend things that users have already bought or purchased, so you got to filter those ones out. Anyway, you provide that back to, to the user, and then um, on the store, you know, the user would see these items that we've recommended to them in addition to the ones that they've already bought or purchased. Excellent. So very, very popular application. All right, thank you very much. You. Now, let's take a look at another example of using AI, this time at the contact center. So, Steve, why don't you, uh, how can we apply AI to, to the contact center? So what we're trying to do is we're trying to help out when people call in to get much more easier assistance when they talk to a virtual agent versus having to go through a complicated phone tree. And we're also trying to help out the live agent when you eventually get connected to them, make their job a little easier, provide them help as much as we can. And AI was a very easy way to do that. So what you're going to see is a person calling in and, and they're going to get responded to by the, by the virtual agent. At least the virtual agent is going to try to answer all their questions. So what happened is, is uh, one person's calling in. I just placed an order recently and one of the items are damaged. And so as the person's calling in, the contact center AI is able to discern what they're talking about, interpret into real text, and get the context of the conversation. One, two, three, four, five. So it needs to go look up what the order number is to figure out what they actually want, re want return. They also need to authenticate the customer, making sure it's the right person calling in. And so with this information, the virtual agent is actually going to be able to process the claim, process the refund, send an email to the customer, and actually process their, all their concerns on the spot. But what if a person wants a little bit more help, they want to be connected to a live person? I got the wrong order from Walmart. So the agent will hear this question. They need a little bit more information to figure out exactly what they want returned. Golf clubs. So the virtual agent is going to hear this, but they, don't, they can't help all the way. So they need to connect it to a live agent. And so what's going to happen now is all that information, all that context from the previous conversation is going to get pushed to that live agent. So they don't need to ask the customer again why they're calling. Thank you for calling Cloud Made Up Store. I see that you have ordered a set of golf clubs from Walmart. And so in the background, Contact Center AI is listening to this conversation, is going to try to piece together what kind of help it can give the live agent. Yes, and it's broken. I need a replacement. So what you're going to see, you're going to see automatic pop-ups happen here, all these resources that the live agent can click through. They can read through some of these and figure out how exactly to help that live uh, person on the line without having to put them on hold, without having to go ask questions of somebody else. They can uh, help them right away. And by clicking through these articles, the, the live agent learned that they can't actually process a replacement, but they can process a return. And that's how we're using AI to help out contact centers. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. If customers want to learn more, where should they go? So they should go to our website. They can sign up for public alpha access right now and hopefully get access to one of our partners that we're working with. Thank you very much. Thank you.